So guys, up until now, there hasn't really been a privacy friendly per se or privacy oriented way to spin your own VPN, get some external company to host it for you, do all the configuration for you, but still give you the privacy and control to kind of make your own VPN network with WireGuard that gets pretty good speeds. Of course, there have been some things like Linode, for example, a website that lets you host things with it and spin WireGuard and make your own server. But Linode isn't really a privacy oriented company necessarily. It's more of just like a web hosting virtual uh, VPS kind of a website. Um, so, but now there actually might be a new competitor to the space, a new kind of offering from TorGuard that competes in this space really well. It could perhaps be one of the most private ways to spin your own VPN. Um, the first, as it describes, not to sound too, you know, shilly or anything like that, but I do think it, it could be one of the first private VPN clouds. And let's look at something like this. Would you rather use Linode, a company where you can make your own server and stuff like that, with 13 ad trackers, 13 third-party cookies, it it, it has trackers that evade third-party cookie blockers. It tells Facebook when you visit this website and it uses Google Analytics. Or would you rather use TorGuard Private VPN Cloud? Zero ad trackers, zero cookies, no tracking that evades cookies, no stress in recording, Facebook pixel not found, no Google Analytics. So yeah, that alone should tell you that this is much more privacy friendly perhaps the new best private way to make your own VPN. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Now guys, if you're interested in checking out this project, I'll try to put a promo code down below. However, this video being unsponsored by TorGuard and not really paid by them to make this video, I'm not sure exactly how they plan on pricing this in the future. You can either click on the link in the description down below to see the current pricing, or one day I might be able to get a promo code from them um, to give a small discount. So keep a look in the description and pin comment for that. Now, some of these things are making really kind of designed for power users who want to take advantage of not only just like consumer grade VPN, but just what a VPN can do in and of itself. Now, what do people traditionally use VPNs for? Well, a lot of businesses use VPNs to basically work remotely and connect to a secure network. Um, and you can also do that to connect to a network from somewhere else and be on the same kind of network. So let's say your, your computer's running at home, running on the network, you can be at a Starbucks hotel and connect to the same network and get some of the same things on that network. So whether you want to transfer files, um, have the same IP address, um, there's so many different possibilities when it comes to uh, just networking overall in terms of the VPN aspect of it. There's a lot of people in this self-hosting um, kind of niche um, with like security cameras. Let's say you have all these security cameras on your network set up with a VPN that lets you access the security camera um, live feed when you're not home, not connected to the network. You don't have to use a centralized server with something Amazon Ring and stuff like that. That's only like one benefit. You can also connect to your home media server, all sorts of things. Uh, the playground is literally endless. And this is actually very similar what TorGuard's doing with NordVPN's um, kind of mesh network feature. I think it's called mesh network, mesh routing or something like that. NordVPN's done it pretty smart and made it very easy to do. They've put it in the app itself and made it so all you need to do is have the mobile app on your phone or whatever and you could connect and have that capability to connect to your at-home network with VPN technology. TorGuard's doing it a little different and in some ways it's better in some ways it's worse. So TorGuard's private VPN cloud, it gives you the access for your own kind of VPN. You're basically making your own VPN with TorGuard, your own private VPN. And that's pretty cool. I, I, there isn't really anything quite like this that I could find. Um, the most similar thing would be maybe NordVPN's mesh routing, but this is way more customizable. Um, and with something like Linode and stuff, you can make your own VPN similarly, but this is like, TorGuard is doing more of the heavy lifting. Um, this is kind of set up more for you than it would be on Linode, um, taking a lot of the work out 
it, but it's not quite as easy to use as NordVPN. It's somewhere in the middle of that. It's more powerful than NordVPN's solution, but also more easy than just spinning your own VPN. So it's very interesting kind of middle ground there that I think Torgord is attacking. And if, you're, if, the, if that sounds like something you're into, definitely click on the link in the description down below. Um, I'm going to be seeing if I could get a promo code for this. Uh, I haven't checked yet. If you click on the link and use the promo code there, it helps support the channel um, and could possibly give you a discount. So we'll have to see how that goes um, with the affiliate. They have like a panel where you could create codes. Um, so it, it is a little bit pricey. Um, it's around $16 a month, $40 for a quarter, $170 a year. This does seem to include some kind of router though. Um, so what happens is you have three devices allowed. Um, you could choose your own VPN IP powered by WireGuard and all this stuff. Um, so it's got its own control panel and I'm going to show you mine. I've actually been testing it out and playing around with it. So it's pretty cool. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the control panel and show you what it's like. All right. So we have this private cloud here. Um, this is the IP that I connect with. So we're going to go to manage, manage VPN cloud. Um, all right, here we go. So this is the specs of my server, um, the information on it. It's a LA WireGuard server. Um, and here is my um, keys. So I pretty much just downloaded the WireGuard application, scan the QR code, and I can connect to my phone. So pretty simple. Um, you can also copy and paste the key on your computer to connect as well. So I pretty much just made my own VPN WireGuard network with no one else on it. Pretty nice. So there's possibilities there, maybe even for kind of unrestricting things based on being in the US, maybe even for bypassing um, certain website restrictions too. I haven't played around with that too much. The cool thing and like the advanced thing about this is that you could change the ports. You can add ports whenever you want, delete them. Now, if you know anything about self-hosting, anything about networking, ports are very important. It's basically like the address and kind of way to connect different services and be able to view them. So that's very important. And this is very customizable. Um, so that's nice to see. You can also customize if you want the default gateway um, or the VPN server. So the default gateway is more like your um, VPN IP. And then if you change the IP here, it's more like your, your regular IP. So that way you're just using your regular IP and not a VPN IP. Apparently there's also gonna be an ability to link personal VPN devices slash nodes together in the cloud. And you have some performance metrics as well here too. So guys, what overall, you know, can you do with this site right now? Well, essentially what it is from what I understand is basically making your own WireGuard network with TorGuard. Now TorGuard takes a lot of the guesswork out of it compared with something like Linode, you're going to have to install stuff and everything like that. TorGuard is just kind of doing it for you, but also giving you the customization and control with having your own network and the various benefits that could entail. Um, like I said, whether you want to remote into your at home network, um, you can use the VPN IP or your own IP, depending on how you want to do that, change ports and everything like that. Really, uh, this is for more advanced users. Um, people who want to make their own VPN, people who want to play around with networking, people who want to self-host are all going to be able to take advantage of this. And I think it's pretty cool. It's definitely a power user kind of experience. Um, but like I said, I do think it's actually easier um, than some of the other things out there. Um, it has more control and power than something like NordVPN's offering, um, but a little bit more tricky to use than NordVPN's offering. But again, more control and options to play around with that you might find more difficult to do with something like Nord, which is pretty simplistic in their implementation of the Nord mesh routing stuff. So guys, that's just my brief overview here. If you're interested to try it out already, go ahead and check it out. Let me know down in the comments down below if any of you are interested in this, what your potential use case could be. If you plan on buying it, you know, use my link if you want to help support the channel. And that'll pretty much do it for me today, guys. Uh, let me know what uh, you think down in the comments down below, like I said, or come uh, visit the Discord uh, too and chat about this.